Um, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> what does it sound like? <laughs> That's the sound of my anus. <laughs> my pubic hair rustling. I didn't know your anus was around here. No, the sound. Jason Moss is a visual artist and lecturer at university. I remember asking some some friends if they if they knew you, and they said, "Oh no, because you know he's kind of an intimidating bitch." So, <laughs> what do you say to that? Probably a decade ago, yeah, um, that probably happened. But no, I'm pretty much relaxed now. So, a decade ago, why were you a bitch? Gee, I don't know. I guess I was busy. <laughs> ah, so it was just a function of stress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, speaking of stress, let, let's let's have some drinks. So, um, oh, so you thanks. are not as stressed as you could be. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, how old were you when you realized that art was what you wanted to do for the rest of your life? Well, I guess I know. I can start off by saying I started drawing when I was three, started painting when I was, I was 11, and then the fact that you want to continue doing this and realize that you were, it's still, I know, it's still a, a question that, I know, still ponders me if I'm like really qualified for it against somebody's standards. Is this false modesty? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It's just there, you know, yung parang... But you know, you're already a fairly established artist. Ano lang, um, you do question yourself, I guess, from time to time. Um, the, the art scene here does change, so mm -hmm. parang it's pretty different from where you started off. And then, um, you really didn't pay much attention to, you know, all, all that's been happening around the scene. Yeah, because whenever somebody brings up art, mm -hmm. all we hear, all we hear is you know, kaching, kaching. Because um, art in the Philippines today seems to be all about the big bucks. Would you say that you are making the big bucks? No, not at all. It's mm -hmm. um, when I was younger in my 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 twenties, but surprisingly at this stage when. Um, you'd think na oh they they give a premium moon uh, no, to people, people who have your an established age. body of work I don't, I don't think i'm selling much honestly i don't i don't i barely make any you know there, there'd be like a in one show uh, you'd be lucky to have like one i guess and then commissions in a year parang one or two so this impression that the general public has that artists are minting money that's only the auction houses or I don't really investigate, but uh, it seems that the, of course, the younger ones they they, they make more. Um, and then the dead ones, the oh, they're dead the ones, ones that make record sales. Eh. It goes to the estate, yes, the estate of the dead ones, mm -hmm. but but not to them. So you have to be either dead or very young. <laughs> How did your parents react when you said um, you wanted to be an artist? Um, of course, I know your dad. He was our. He is like the greatest copy editor in the Philippines. I've 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 witnessed uh, a dictionary fight between <laughs> oh him and another I was there and another copy editor. They were ah, yeah, they were they were fighting this. over whether something had to be hyphenated or not. So bring out the style manuals, yeah, bring yeah. out the dictionaries. It it ended with people throwing things on the table. The Chicago Manual of Style says no. Uh, the New York Times manual says yes. So. I remember that. I think I was in high school, and then because uh, he has around a hundred uh, dictionaries eh, okay. in the hall, so uh, they supported me, naman, all throughout. Mm -hmm. uh, they they didn't really question what I was doing. They were really supporting me. But at some point, um, going through college, merong lumabas na actually. So there was uh, there was Malang, there's Uncle Cop, there's uh, Andres Cristobal Cruz, and Nick Joaquin. 
um, who told me not to take up fine arts. Really? So, Why? Man, growing up na yun eh, minamasahin nila ako na parang um, they knew naman I was painting. So yung parang it's just an act of parang you have to be pure, don't talk to other artists, you know, that sort of thing. So parang I grew up thinking that way. So um, eventually, 2015, kahit late na, parang dun lang ako ng grant. Tapos parang dun ako nag-open na makipag, ano, sa ibang, makipag-usap sa ibang artist. Yeah, in line with sanity maintenance, yeah. suppose you had not become an artist, would you be in an asylum today? <laughs> yeah, what would you be doing if you were not painting, drawing, making sculptures? Probably be a doctor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, eyebrow. <laughs> okay. I-, I was thinking, you know, live anatomy. <laughs> but no, and I I wanted to to work for Jim Henson for the longest time. Mm-hmm. So, parang high school was all parang trying to find ways to get into Jim Henson's creature shop. Hey, you know line. his his son made a, a a Muppet starring movie called Happy Time Murders, which is getting like the worst reviews ever. Cause the Muppets are having sex, taking drugs, oh. you know. Yeah, but maybe if you had worked on that movie, it might have. <laughs> Not that I'm suggesting you have sex or take drugs. <laughs> So tell us about your working process from the minute an idea pops into your head to the minute you, you can um, you, you you know that it is complete. I asked you to bring your right. your notebooks because when you're not looking I'm going to steal one of those. But you know, let's see your notebooks. Oh, okay. So well these are old ones. Um, How we, many notebooks do you have now? Uh, I think I have around like fifty. Okay. Plus, kasi I, 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 I tend to draw I also have everything. like a hundred or so journals, but it's all written. And yeah. yours are all drawn. Um, it's either drawn or um, uh, written. Uh, when I was in my in my 20s, kasi parang it's pretty much sp- spontaneous. All mm-hmm. I do is just draw, you know, all of these. Is, is it like stream of... It's like stream of consciousness writing. This is like you're you're just drawing whatever comes to mind. Yeah. Um, but lately, because um, I'm, I'm presently taking up my ano, my masters in UP, so mm-hmm. medyo na iba rin yung yung process ko. Um, I had to adjust to it. Um, for, uh, it was a struggle. Uh, I've accepted it, so parang medyo na iba na siya. Uh, I try to maintain being spontaneous, naman then so. Um, I, I do get to work the same way, but now it's pretty much different because um, you get into more writing, and then of course there's the there's technology. And um, but I still pretty much maintain um, the old process. The the only difference is I get to write more mm-hmm. uh, now, and then of course there's the advent of technology. And do um, you still um, have the notebooks? You you kept on. Keeping yeah, the, up to this day, oh, journals, meron yes. pang, ang dami pang nakabang kasi parang, I, I mean, very pretty much easy to please. So parang, you can get me a sketch pad or um, paper for my birthday or Christmas. So ang dami, and, ang dami pa. Okay. <laughs> ang dami pang nakabang. And so, how do you know when a work of art is finished? Because um, I can tell you that um, from the writing end, as in, um, a lot of writers don't know how to end, say, a story. So they keep working on it long after everyone has lost interest. Ah, uh, when it's done, it's done. It's pretty much done. You, uh, you just know. The two factors, I guess, one is um, if a show is coming up, then you do have to finish it and wala ka na talagang choice na mm-hmm. yun na yun. Or if it's, it's, if it's planned out naman in such a way na, oh, I guess it's gonna be organic uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere after that na parang it's already planned. You you wanna keep on changing it because and Jana and Dami and bosses it. It's like one is gonna say, Oh, it's pretty much done and then later on you you're you're rotating your sort of um, way processes of thinking, you the, 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 the teacher will step in and then it'll look at it in a different way. You know, you have to keep on closing your eyes to to see if it's really done or not. I recall that a few years ago, it was so easy to get you to take off your clothes. Do you still do that? No. No, as in you, 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 you drink a few drinks. Na paro, oh Jason, take it off, and and you would. So would you say that you used to be a slut? <coughs> no, no man. <laughs> so so the, the, opera, 
the, the, the term that has to be removed is used to be. So why were you more comfortable about taking your clothes taking off? your clothes off in the past? As in, you've been photographed in the nude, no? Mm, yeah, um, the thrice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's good. Oh, during that time, I was more secure because I was doing a lot of sports. I wasn't really that active, and then you know I didn't really understand that my body could do that. So, parang oh, you're pretty, naman pala. So, <laughs> go. You don't do Ang sports guy. anymore? Not, not as much. Um, ano na lang? Uh, going up mountains from time to time. If there's you know if there's a weekend, that's free. But the, the, the routine that, that uh, I, I got into, because I was doing like 11 sports parang during the time. That's a bit much. Yeah, I mean, I was depressed because when was that? 20, 2013. So, parang so you deal with depression by getting into every physical activity During possible. that time, during mm -hmm. that time. And did it help, the endorphins? Oh yeah, I got addicted to it. Um, one sport just gave birth to another until... So, at, at, in 2013, that was your sanity maintenance program? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, bucket list, actually. Parang all my fears, I had to write down. Yeah, so, what other fears did you have in there? In the, um, in that list? Well, I had a fear of intimacy, so I got into underwater hockey. It's like... Um, how does how does underwater hockey get rid of your fear of intimacy? You get to play with you know, um, your other teammates. I mean, it's a true. I, 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 I didn't realize that <laughs> <laughs> underwater hockey required that. It, it was my way of you know, I, I guess you know, how how I correlate um, that that fear of intimacy. You know, I don't like being touched. You know, I don't like. Um, huddling around the group, I'm not really comfortable with it, you know. Mm -hmm. On and off, kasi parang nag, ano kaya, you, you become a, an introvert and then an extrovert. So mm -hmm. I guess getting into it, I, ano, I, I learned a couple of things about um, kung paano ka makitungo with other people. Yeah, what else, what else was in the bucket list? I personally oh. do not have a bucket list because I'm not going to die. But you, you have a bucket list and what, what else is on it? There is ano, a fear of heights. So oh. I got into mountaineering. Did you bungee jump or something? There's something for the fear of heights. Yeah, or skydive. Mm, what did not, you fall off yet. of? I fell off a cliff, uh, Mount Apo, a couple of years ago. So I fell on my backpack. It's, it was around like 40 feet. So Wow, you're you're lucky. No injuries. N and ego lang. <laughs> yeah, but still, I would think something like that would make <coughs> me think I cannot be destroyed. Well, siempre if you're well, I was saved by a branch of a tree. Because mm -hmm. broke uh, your fall. Yeah, it broke my fall. But it was around forty feet. Because you were lying down, and then um, yung tao ganyan ang kaliit. And how did you get back up? I had to wait for like twenty minutes um, before uh, my other groupmates came along. Because well, it was my mistake anyway. So You're not could they have to... just gone on up the mountain without realizing that you had fallen off a cliff? Um, I, merong locals kasi ah, na, na nakita sa akin, the two children or whatever. Kuya, niyari sa yung ginagawa mo dyan. Lang, yosi lang ako dito. Meanwhile, the monkey eating eagles are swirling mm. around, you know. Is it lunch? Is it lunch? Uh, okay, <laughs> Eventually, so, yeah. fear of intimacy, underwater hockey, big eyebrow. Um, fear of heights, fall off a cliff, what else? Fear of depth, uh, took up scuba diving. Um, Fear of pushing myself too far. I took up dragon boat rowing, ah. so it ended there because mm -hmm. I got an injury from it. So, para na limit na yung movement. Suppose um, my fear is the fear of being a sucky, stupid writer. What would be the what would be the solution for that? Live in my house with dad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The torment. Now this page is yeah is mediocre, etc., etc. Okay, so um, one advantage of, of um, being a, a creator of art, much like being a writer, is that we work alone. But sometimes, you know, if, even if you would rather not, we have to work with other people. So what's it like for you to work with other artists? Specifically, mm. tell us about your experience with, was it the, the Film Museum of Chicago? Well, I knew who Manny Garibay was and um... I've met him the man, so he's nice. And then there were other artists involved. Uh, there was a, uh, or um, si Aguinaldo, si Impas, 
um, Neri, and then oh, who's the other person? Oh, I, that's me. So five of five Filipinos, and then five other Filipino Americans. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'd hear them out. Because my style, ko parang I'd, I'd let other people talk first, and then parang I'd take down mental notes. And, and I'm then, guessing you were younger than the others. No, there was one. Ah, okay. Uh, Nina ko yung younger ngayon. So. Yeah, it's always very shocking to realize that you're no longer the youngest person in the group, no? I know. Yeah, I, I miss that feeling. I know. I guess Jay I should Lasada. start. <laughs> I should start hanging out with old people. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. But have you ever worked on something that caused you to have violent arguments, like grabbing an easel and throwing it, throwing paint, throwing whatever? Oh. Do, you, do you have do you have a, do you have tantrum, temper tantrums like that? Not anymore. Not but did anymore. you used to? Yeah. And but, don't you miss having those big dramatic blow-ups? Oh yeah, definitely. But you know, there's mega mut naman sa high blood kaya. Okay lang naman paminsan. Pero now it's different eh kasi galing na lang sa ilong, you know. It's like when you're pissed, yung parang you can't really get, get enraged. Yes, and also, we can no longer be as free in expressing our innermost thoughts because yeah. we will be condemned in the social media. I know. All you need um, is to is to fight with, you know, is to berate one child with a Twitter account and then mm. you are demonized by the whole world. I'm I'm really shocked at how mellow you now? are. Now, yes. Yeah, I know. But but then you you get into all sorts of arguments online, right? Mm. Because um because apart from being a visual artist, you're also very politically engaged. Uh, presently, yeah. Yes. Um, mm. how many hours a day do you spend um discussing politics on online with the pros and the antis? Right. I only allow myself like two hours. But not the red red It's like, pwede kang pasilip silip kanyan. And you were involved um, in the the protests at the sauna. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, I uh, am with a group uh, of artists who um, primarily speak for um, extrajudicial killings, um, the victims of that in particular. Uh, you know, I think one one of the the, the problems that you face is that the term extrajudicial killing sounds both official and 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 difficult mm. to grasp. Why don't you just call you call it what it is, which is murder? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's because you know murder, anyway. extrajudicial killings may, gives it an official ring. Mm-hmm. Well, not that it isn't committed by the officials, but you know you, you kind of have to bring it down. To yeah, it. yeah, it's plain murder. Yeah, it's murder. Anyway, so were you always politically engaged? Even in you know past administrations, um, I was an editor and cartoonist for today mm-hmm. um, under GMA and then uh, Arabs administration. Parang so you've always kept abreast of the news. Yeah, you're supposed to. But after that, mejo na wala na. So now it's like you're trying to look not naman distractions. You're looking for new passions. So para my new passion is like helping out. Uh, People can't stand for themselves. So, kasiyempre when you're getting older, then di ba? Yung parang nagiba na rin yung concerns mo. Mm-hmm. So, um, given that there's so much noise around us, and um, you know, social media magnifies everything, and the there's constant flood of information that has to be processed. How do you keep your sanity in a world that is increasingly nuts? Oh, you just gotta shut it off. Mm-hmm. So, how do you do that? You shut off your your social media at some point. You you don't really make to talk too much. You get out of the house, I guess. Um, go to openings, kung kaya. Climb mountains, kung kaya. When if you possible, have the time. Yes. Yeah. But you know, this is basically a shock to be talking to you and you being so mellow and practical. Oh. Now. I, I kind of miss the crazier you. Crazier me. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about crazy you who no longer exists. Oh, what was the craziest thing old Jason did? We know Shit. the crazy things that current Jason has done, which are not for public consumption. But <laughs> what, are, what are some of the things you did in the past that you <laughs> wish you had not done? Okay, here it is. Oh, jeez. It's weird, no? Yung parang when when people talk about you, parang you don't really get to, to to hear much, and then it's been there for like years, na pala. So I heard that. Okay. Uh huh. 
uh-huh. rape me daw. So yung parang... Uh, I think you would have noticed if it had happened. Yeah, but... Where did, where did that chismis come from? It's been going around na daw for like years eh. So and parang then, I didn't... And then of, of all possible victims, why you? You're the least victim-y person. Yeah, it's a kind of taste naman, di ba? Ano ba? <laughs> hey! Did you get shot those abs? <laughs> where did that... Where did that come from? Could it have been... You know, um, from a competitor or someone who had a beef against you. No, it's actually a very reliable source. So maybe the alleged perpetrator would like to. N- no, <laughs> n- n- not really my type. But okay. yeah. Okay. No, but that would happen precisely because he's not your type. Okay. Of the artists working today, which ones do you look up to, respect? Chris, Ardenia, the sila Emong, sila Marcus Inyani. There's there's too many eh. Uh, there's Alwyn, Remilo, um, si Leo Bayo, si <laughs> Nick Sumbini. Madame, madame. Do you intend to go on living in the Philippines? Or are you like many people thinking, I should think of an escape strategy yeah. and you know start looking at other countries? What other countries are you looking at? Um, Berlin's top one. Berlin? Um, Why Berlin? No, I was recommended by artist friends. Na parang yeah, it's either Berlin. Because parang sabi na New York, wala na dong masyado. Okay. Really? I don't know. So I was aiming for New York, but well, I guess in New York, see, everyone's too busy protesting the current idiots. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. so it's Berlin, I guess, and then other safer, safer countries. Na I hear good things okay. about the art scene in Berlin. Yeah, it's a kamura daw. So, parang baka pwedeng subukan na. Berlin is very, very artsy, very gay and vegan. That's what I heard. Vegan. Oh, no. Are you vegan? You like meat? Uh, yeah. Sinabi mo pa akong bakla kung di mo makaan ng karne, di ba? Well, well, our earlier interview, <laughs> he was, you know, um, a gay vegan. Which I find a contradiction in terms. No. <laughs> Hirap kaya. Mm-hmm. You look healthy nga, pero you're so tasty and, you know, um, I did it for a year. You lived a year without butter, honey. Yeah, I felt so. I look great, but I felt so weak. Mm-hmm. Are you are you the type of person who who goes on fad diets in the um, in an attempt to control your body? These are control issues, you know. Hmm. Extreme diets, etc. Because when people are unhappy, they they try to exert some sort of tight control over surroundings, which they can't, so they control themselves. Are you a fad diet type? As far as I went, siguro, not the recent ones like ano yun, keto and then that other caveman thing. Paleo. Uh, paleo. Yeah, I feel that paleo will only work if you personally hunt and kill and skin and cook your food and then you eat it. Yeah. If you're that just can work. if you're just running around and then you eat uh, a steak, that's not paleo. I tried the 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 after six thing. Mm-hmm. Don't eat anything after like six. Oh, it's like oh, it's been repackaged as intermittent fasting. Uh, so many terms. Yes. Yeah, that kind of works for me. No, these are just old things that are repackaged with with cool new terms. Yeah, just people should just eat anything they want. Well, well, yeah, but you know, I broke up with white rice um, some months ago, and the other night I I what ate a lot now? of. I ate a lot of sushi because they were California rolls and I had a stomachache the whole night. I think I can't take white rice anymore. What? Yeah. And so since, you know, this is the sanity maintenance program, we have to talk about um, the things that stress you out and how you manage to stay sane despite these stresses. Okay, at this age, if you have like family or internal problems, yeah, take it out on, on, on drawing. If you have issues with, with, with politics, you join... Um, Groups that um, actually push for reform, um, support them all the way. Um, school, uh, you, you just have to like play by the book, I guess. Um, satisfy your peers and your students. Sig- tapos ano, being being an artist then, um, meron din pressure. So I I I I I tend to just overwork na lang with uh, a lot of art projects. Mm-hmm. Okay. So which brings us back to our first question. As in, do you feel that artists have better coping mechanisms for 
the things in the world that make other people Most insane. Most definitely because we have the time and the creativity to make something out of nothing. Yeah, and also um, you're in the situation where people can say, "Oh, look at Vincent Van Gogh. He didn't sell. He he sold two things in his lifetime. So okay, can I?" <laughs> okay, so take care. I'm ready to sell my liver and my body parts. My body not yet. Shut up. But that is a body part, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>